alive. Those claws don't scare me. Waiting for it to come up here on the right. It's actually loading pretty quick. I already saw the uh, load screen here because I'm logged in. There we go. Huzzah! Live once again. So yeah, Marvel just can't avoid problems, apparently. Tonight, let me see, what have we had? Day one on the F Ultimate Founders Pack, a day's worth of outage. Day one on the Premium Pack, day's worth of outage. And now, it's early access for uh, the Starter Pack purchasers, and that's all well and good. Those guys are doing fine, as long as they didn't play the game in Steam. Yeah, so Steam, the game has completely disappeared from the client lists on Steam, apparently, and there's no way to start it up. At least we've been trying to figure out a way to start it up, and it just doesn't seem to be working. The directory structure doesn't seem to lend itself to having an executable. Yeah, what, it, what, the, what I've seen on the farms and stuff is it was taken, like, whatever what we had before is taken off of Steam... To put up the thing for tomorrow, but that doesn't go live till ten o'clock. So, yeah, I don't know. It sounds like the normal Steam deleting executables or removing the ability to launch games until official launch time, even though you've got early access. Yes, which happens quite often with Steam, actually. Hmm. My map reset. Interesting. All right, so I'll have to work with that. I can tell you now, since I haven't seen this game since, you know, way early beta, uh, they've definitely worked on the graphics. It certainly looks better. Yeah, yeah. But what is your character there, Trey? Who is he? Is he uh, the dark Spider-Man? This is the dark, symbiote-suited Spidey-Man, yes. A.K.A. the asshole. A.K.A. Hey, Emo Parker, if you've watched Spider-Man 3. <laughs> hey, he treated women right. I like him. I like... Oh, God. No, of course oh, God, I have nothing better to do. No, no, I, I thought there was hope. I went to the Marvel thing, like the page for Marvel Heroes, and it said, play game. I was like, oh, God, it's back! I clicked it, and it took me to the community page. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> what a tease. <laughs> it's like play game button. It's like, oh, yes. And it's like, oh, no. Oh, look. I found the raptor pen. Oh, my God. I was only joking, and it actually is a raptor survey station. That was supposed to be a Jurassic Park joke, but it really is a... Oh, my God. It's a raptor pen. Well, you know, there you go. More Jurassic Park joke to you. Uh, indeed. I still love the rocket wrenches. So, can you rotate the camera at all, or are you forced in this mode? No, just like many ARPGs, you pretty much have an isometric view. Sweet. The only game that I know of so far, action RPG-wise, that will be doing camera... Blah, 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 try again. Camera rotations is Grim Dawn. That's the only one I know of off the top of my head. I There may have been others, I just can't think of them. Clever girl. Wow, giant T-Rex guarding a treasure chest. My my dreams for an action RPG are complete. It's <laughs> all I needed. Yes, I was having I was having fun earlier when I was playing that. Hey. I was like, I'm killing dinosaurs with lightning. My dinosaurs are glowing oh, nuclear too. They're nuclear dinosaurs. Defeat means nothing. Or maybe that's just their disease they're trying to spread to you. Subject T24, huh? Goodbye, T24. I barely knew ye. So you haven't seen the Rocket Rexes, um... I have. No, I have. No, 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 no. I'm talking about him, Russ. Oh, oh god. These things are crazy. <laughs> I don't know who thought of it, but just a T-Rex strapped to a rocket, basically. That is your weapon. Yeah, so like, it has like a T-Rex head. It, it's it's like a it's a monster you fight. It's like a T Rex head, and then it's like a rocket as a body, and it just like shoots at you and like rams into you. Seriously? Like, yes. 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 This game will is fill all your item? all your nerd fantasies. Is in this game. Is, is it a paid item? Because I would pay for that. No, you get to go out and fight it on a whim. Just go out. No, no. 
you, you have to fight it though. You can't like keep it. That's a bummer. um. If you could use yeah. one, it would be overpowered. Let's face it. <laughs> I would totally pay to be overpowered to have a rocket T Rex. No, no, no. That's exactly what they need to do. The uh, little pets that follow you around that don't do anything. They need to come out with one of them. Oh god, people, yes. Rocket Re people, Rocket Rex following you rocket. around. And they, and the best part you know, make make it so it's a non combat pet so it doesn't do damage, but make it so it tar charges the enemy and self destructs anyway. <laughs> just to look cool. And then it comes back a few <laughs> seconds later. Just just for effect. <laughs> I would pay for that. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> come on, girl tread. Your vehicle is slow. I tell you what, this is definitely looking a lot better graphic-wise than last I saw this. I just want to play you more. Really? So, yeah. I thought the graphics in the game were pretty good even when I played early, uh, played the beta. Nah, it looked very stilted. It didn't look fluid. The animations look a lot more fluid now. Oh yeah, the animations. The gra that, so that, that's more the animations and the engine itself. But yeah, still graphics. What one of the best one of the best things from playing. Um, the last, like, the open beta, I mean, the closed beta, like, a week before, um, the $200 people came in, and, um, earlier today, was, it's a lot smoother, like, a lot more responsive than it was when I first got into beta. Yep. And one, ago. and one thing you may not have seen before with Spider-Man, if you're watching now, before, when, uh, he did his attack combo, he pretty much just attacked Punched. with his fists. <laughs> yeah. Now he's got like a four or five hit string where he kicks, flips. Well, I imagine you know this Spider-Man stuff. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. See, I imagine this is something they're going to continuously be working on because who's this backed by funding-wise? Hmm. Cuz you know, they've got a major brand name here. I would be hard pressed to, you know, they, they're probably hard pressed to, to fuck this up and let it die. To be honest with you, with a name like this. But then again, you never know. I mean, if they've got the rights to all these characters, kind of makes me wonder. You know, they they've got big plans at least. Well, well, they're gonna keep coming out with characters, and everyone's obviously hoping for content and stuff like that to come with it. But they've already said they plan on coming out with a new hero about every six weeks. That's their plan. Hmm, that's not a bad timetable. Um, Which means they're probably gonna go back and with all these other characters, have balancing and you know add animations and little things here or there as they've got time. I would yeah, imagine. And, and then um, because there's four that's already announced that were supposed to be in release, but it's not, and all the people that paid the two hundred dollar are gonna get them for, but then after that, you're gonna have to find them or buy them. Let me so. think. Who who's unavailable? Johnny uh, Johnny uh, Blaze got pushed back. So Human Torch got pushed back. He was supposed to be at launch. Yep. Go, go Emma Frost. Back. Emma Frost. Squirrel Girl. Well, how, how much? And, um, character here. I mean, I know you said it varies. Hold on. Who who was the last one? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um. Uh, Nova. Nova. Uh, okay, so we'll cost character-wise when we get to... Uh, like, I want iron. That's what I would it, it varies anywhere from like $6 to $20, like $21. Ooh. So, if you want Iron Man, it's 20 bucks. Iron Man's one of the 20 bucks ones. There's three 20 bucks ones. Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Deadpool. They're all 20 bucks. So pretty much the high-value targets. <laughs> the ones that they know people want. Now... I know before, all their abilities, their specials, all basically looked the same, and basically did the same thing. Is that still the case, or have they really kind of customized each one now? Well, it depends on your character. Like, Spider-Man had most of his abilities available in closed beta, but what they've done is they've added some synergy effects that actually make his abilities worthwhile to use together. Like, most of them, what they have is, you have, like, your starter attack, that's a free attack, your basic attack. And then later on they have, you know, a second one or maybe even, you know, a second and a third one. But then whatever points you put in the first one or second one, they have synergies and will give damage to the whatever. They're basically better versions because I know Storm has it. Storm has one. Her, her basic attack is just like a lightning bolt. It does damage. Her second one has a chance to stun. 
and does more damage. And then she has, it has another one that strikes the target multiple times and has a greater chance to stun because it has a chance to stun every time the lightning strikes. And all of them are free and become your basic attack. So basically, you're just upgrading it because when you have the third one, you're not going to use the first or second one. The third one's just infinitely better. Yeah, the, the abilities that are meant to replace each other will have synergy effects, so you will gain a percentage of the damage that it does in the future versions and vice versa. So for a while you may use the original abilities, like uh, on my power screen here. I was using Spider Strike for a while, even though I've unlocked Sticky Strike, because Spider Strike I had leveled, so it was doing more damage. But with every level that... I had into Spider Strike, it was giving more damage to Sticky Strike. And of course, Sticky Strike was giving more damage, 3% of its damage, to my original basic. So it came to a point where, as I was leveling them, eventually Sticky Strike overcame the primary, but it, there was kind of a little transition between. Gotcha. So abilities that are similar will be replacing other abilities that are not. But there was a problem with some of the other powers that were not basic attacks that were a little bit too similar to each other, but I think they've worked on a lot of that to give them either some kind of special ability or reason to use them. So yeah, like for example, the animation, the, the one that you showed me was the animation for, uh, was it Iron Man or one of them? The beam thing versus Cyclops was almost identical and did basically the same damn thing, both graphically and damage-wise. So I was kind of like, hmm, that's kind of a bummer, you know, hopefully they differentiate more than that. I'm well, sure, I'm there's, sure there's, they'll iterate on it, too. Yeah, there's definitely a few things like that because I was fighting earlier and I was in one of the random dungeons that partied you up with random people, which you can turn off, by the way, in options. I didn't know that. But, um... I was playing with a Thor and I'm playing Storm. And... I have the move that I can channel and it does lightning... Uh, damage it just calls down lightning and does the damage in that spot. Thor has something just like that, and it looks similar. His lightning's a little more bluer and looks thicker. I don't know. And it's the exact same thing. I said his doesn't channel. Like I float in the air and channel, and it does it. And he can just like press it and keep doing it over and over again. But they look very similar. One's the darker than the other. <laughs> But I mean, how many different lightning from the sky thing works can you have? Just so you guys know, the Zonda F is a real piece of shit. Slow as hell. Can corner well though, but it's slow as hell. I've actually driven a real one now. Alright, there we go. Nice. I need to remind me, Trey, I need to send you guys the latest video of my races. So you guys can see what the heck I'm actually racing this year. <laughs> Say, started off life as a Corvette Z06. It's not that anymore. Ooh, hello. I tried to be better at life. I tried what? to upgrade to the Steam version because they told me it would be better. And then it's like, <laughs> and you got fucked. I am so sorry to hear that. Uh oh, major that's, that's, you needed here. You know, it, it is one of the things I'm always cautious with Steam about, though, when you, you know, do these launch things on any MMO, because they they had this problem with Star Trek Online. They had this problem with, uh, oh shit, what are some of the uh, Eve Online that I've done? They, they, they've had a lot of problems with some of the MMOs doing stuff like this. Now, you know, I can kind of understand it and forgive it if it's a single player game, a shooter. Well, like he said, the only problem I have with it, I would not have a problem with this at all. If this happened tomorrow, I have no problem with it. I spent 20 bucks where I could be playing right now, and I yeah. can't. Well, seeing that's where I think they need to either Steam via Marvel or Marvel Direct, we should reimburse you for something like this. Because this is, this is an issue. What you paid money to play, and you can't. I mean, yeah, they should cover something. Do something about that. Uh, certainly lots of little creatures around me, aren't I? Yeah, what are those things? They look like walking in trees. They're like little aliens. They, yeah, well, yeah. I, I think they're. I think. I think they look more like um, hydralisks. Kind of like a wasp. <laughs> they're like Starcraft hydralisks. 
you know what? I don't play Starcraft, so I didn't know what those look like. They don't look, then they look like the aliens from Alien, alright? How's that? No, they don't. They don't look anything like the aliens from Alien. You guys? I'm an Aliens fan, and that doesn't look anything like it. Yeah, well. Yeah, I could see where you could say that, but they don't look really anything like it. You know what, Snook? I don't need to hear that from you. But, but, but you, you said that, and I'm not watching your stream, and I immediately understood what monster you were talking about. So they do look kind of similar, I guess? Because as soon as she said, like, the alien monster from that, I knew exactly what you were talking about. That's what these guys look like, right here. These guys. It's the alien. This keeps getting more fun. Oh, 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 oops. Yeah. Still in one piece. I'm gonna go back to racing my zombie thing. Because those clearly don't look like aliens from Alien. Look at this guy. Look. Look. It does. No, he doesn't. See, look. It's like the alien queen or whatever. He has the head, but the rest of the body and the shape, I mean, yeah, no. Looks more like a worm with a tail, yeah. You know what? I don't care. All I know is I better not have to read down with you. How, uh, is that as far as you can zoom out there, right there? Yep. Now, how close can you get? Like, super close? I'm pretty much right on top of your character. Cool. Yeah, just like D3. Now, D3 only had two zooms.